Hey what's up guys, today I'm here with Joseph. We are at Austrian Arms and we had a great idea. What's all of this Joseph? These are all the guns that don't necessarily exist in Airsoft and we would like to see them. So let's start with Christoph's part and then the other video is gonna be my part, my guns that I picked. So what do you have here? Let's start in the middle. Now a lot of people will say, oh the Star Org actually does exist in Airsoft and you do have it from GHK in a Gasprobic version, which I think that's actually a really good one. But in the AEG world, which I want to see this as an AEG, there's not really a good one. And I don't want to bash here, I don't want to bash any manufacturer, but they are all made after the Marui standard. You know, there's like one tool, internal versions and there's no electronic triggers. There's they're just outdated really. And what I would like to see is someone just make a good AUG AUG. You know, with all the modern bits and pieces. This one is for example the, you know, the way the Austrian police kits it out. So we have, you know, very low sitting rail, we have QD on there. And you know, it doesn't wobble like the Airsoft ones. The Airsoft ones are just kind of like, you know, they rattle around and they, they don't feel nice. When you compare them to an AR, they're just not there. So you want to see a Steuer Org AEG, like properly made. Yes. Is this like a secret hint Easter egg or something? <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> Maybe we should start one. Should we start one? Let us know. But yeah, that's that's something I would really like to see as an Austrian. Because these Let's are made in Austria. Let's move on to the next one. What is this? I mean, that's a pistol. Come on. Uh, um, why did you pick this one? Okay, why did I pick this one? I do really like the SSX23 and all the Mark 23 variants that are on the market, but I think they're big. And I would like to see a compact, small, non blowing pistol because it's actually not necessary that they're big. Does it have to be the USP or can it be <sighs> no, it's really any gun? A small, non blowing something that, because for, you know, for my hands it works okay, the SSX23, but something more compact, it doesn't need to so be. So it can big, be a right? Glock as well, right? It could be a Glock as well, yeah. yeah. Perfect. But I think Glocks are, Glock with a suppressor looks weird, I think. It's not, I don't know. Uh, this doesn't. This looks amazing. I mean, you have like the race side. Go up with the suppressor looks amazing. That's that's like a Call of Duty for modern warfare. Like you have this, and, and you use it multiple times. It's just so a smaller a pistol. That's non blowback. Non blowback. Yeah, that's the big thing. And you need a hammer if you have a non blowback. Yeah, hammer, hammer is a good idea to make the system more simple. Actually, what's funny is I found on this one, it actually has a modular suppressor. And I was like, what? <laughs> I thought that was our idea. Is all of these like the individual? Or is no, it just I half? think it's just one. And you know, literally, it's you know, here we have ours of the SX23. And you know, when 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 I had this idea of making it model, I was like, this fucking genius! People are gonna love it. But so it actually exists in real steel. So how do you put the cap on there? I have no idea. It's not as modular as our. Ah, look at this. Okay. So it's every single piece seems to be modular. And now you can put this on there, and this is what's left. Uh, Man, there is O-ring. There is some... Man, you cannot have O-rings on suppressors. Come on, they get hot. That's weird. Seriously, it has O-ring. Well, anyways. Let's maybe maybe it doesn't get hot. Maybe, maybe it doesn't. Yeah. You, you just have to shoot like 10 rounds max. And, and then it melts. Yeah. <laughs> then just take it off. You know, you can use half the suppressor anyways. <laughs> just falls off. Okay, um, next we have the... B and T conversion for Glocks and actually ASG uh, very recently released the USW Universal Service Weapon, which is you know an integrated one. It's it's a full gun, but what I would want to see is actually a conversion for Glocks and also the SSP18. So you know no matter which Glock based pistol you have, you you can have this. And what it is is this. I mean, bam! How do you not want this? And, and the it's way not much bigger than let's say Mark 23, right? Um, like if it's folded, yeah, it kind of takes the same place. You can host it. And what I would want to see is actually this being made for the SSX23 or any Mark 23, because I could basically holster this and then be like, bam! And now I have kind of like a primary almost. Almost, yeah. Almost, yeah. Some pistols like, can really. Yeah. Um, I can have a longer inner barrel and shoot maybe 400 FPS or something. Maybe a suppressor. Into yeah, yeah, of course, barrel. a suppressor on it, rattle on it. Man, this is, you know, I, I put this into my holster and... Uh, what know, holster? Yeah, that's what... That would have, have to be developed. Well, huh? you can also, no, you can also holster the SSX-303 into an SSX-23 holster. So maybe there's some way of making this that you can still holster it. But that's definitely one of my top picks because this would make for the perfect um, sidearm for a sniper. Next, this suppressor. So again, not about the pistol, but 
It's about the, the suppressor, can. really, yeah. Because, you know, there, there's holsters available where you can holster this entire gun. And if we would make this for the SX23 or maybe some other platform, there's a big volume in here. Do you like the looks? I think it's okay. If it suppresses, if it works. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's about functionality, right? And what I like about it is that it's flush with the top of the pistol, mm. so I don't need raised sights. It's, it's very natural to, to aim. You, you can, like, you don't know it's there, except the weight. It's bloody heavy. Mm, I wouldn't even say it's bloody heavy. It's huh? heavier on the front, but that also helps you with the recoil. It's Not also in made in Austria. It says made in Austria on there. See? I mean, it's cool. It's cool. I can see that this would be a head turner on the field. Yeah. Like if you show up with this on the field, you can be like, okay, before I do some stupid thing, it's empty. You can be like, you hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, because it kind of, kind of feels like, <laughs> it's like a pedal. You can slap someone's ass. Yeah. This is like, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> It kind of, maybe you can use it as a frying pan if you shoot it out, like yeah. you can put an egg on it. On the real one you probably can, you shoot it a couple times, Ooh. Well, you shoot okay. it a couple times and then you fry an egg on it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's cool. And also the pistol, I mean, for some reason, this pistol really feels good in the hand. I, I'm not, it probably does exist or something similar uh, in airsoft, but yeah. Let's move on. Here we have a... Uh, Something that's actually very similar to the GNG SMG9, uh, which is a gun from GNG where you put, uh, you can buy this conversion where you put your lower of the, man, how is the pistol called? The GNG Glock. Um, you put it in there and you actually have a separate bolt carrier in there. Now, I do really like this gun and I think they did a great job, but what I would want to see different is that I can actually put any pistol into this. And there is carbine kits or like this conversion things, but they usually big and like made of plastic and I don't like them. This is... And it's gun specific, like as far as I know there is no universal kit. Yeah, you, you cannot put, I don't know, uh, M9 inside any glove. On the other hand, like making it universal, it has to be Sometimes bigger. Sometimes like, it makes it better. Making something universal makes it better. Could be, usually. depends how you, yeah. how you make it. But yeah, what I would want to see is not specifically this, but something along those lines where I can slide any pistol into this extension and I can make basically a a rifle out of it really because an airsoft you know if i put a, a long inner barrel into most pistols actually get up in power and it makes it a rifle with small necks so that's mm -hmm. nice or an smg yeah if it's gas i mean yeah. you don't necessarily need a big package to make it accurate and, and powerful yeah. because it's gas so. also it reminds me of the ssx 303 and playing with it a couple of times i really like the idea of having a magazine in the grip i know you hate it no, well, well no, 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 I like MP7s. I like MP7s, how, how it's just compact and in the pistol yeah. grip, that means you have a 9mm size magazine, that means you can put two magazines instead of one M4 magazine. Yeah. That's, that's and really... And they cheaper. And I mean, it's cheaper, gas and, more lightweight. Yeah. And also when you look at an AR-15 mag, which is kind of like this we have it. size, we have it here. <laughs> you can just take one. Um, on gas blowback variants, you do have, you know, you have them stacked here in front, then you have all this gas, which is too much, right? It's, it's, it's more gas it's than It's not needed. necessarily too much. Actually, I have no idea why these are so big, because you can just operate a rifle with, with this size of a magazine, and, and now we have M4 size magazine, and like, what's the benefit? Well, I don't see the benefit. It's there is not more, it, I mean... It's a it, replica. That's why. Yeah, it's, it's it replicates an AR-15. Yeah, it's a replica. Like, yeah. If you see something stupid in there, so you can always say, oh, it's a replica. It <laughs> makes sense. It doesn't. In gas, yeah. these mags make more sense, yeah. in my opinion. Absolutely. Okay, then. What else do we have here? This is a Beretta-made split slide. It's 22 long rifle, so tiny little caliber. I don't want to specifically see this pistol, but what I want to see is a high-end split slide gas blowing pistol. Because they are a good ones. Yeah, they are good ones from, you know, Amara Works makes quite good ones. But they are, they are good for the price. They're like around 200 bucks. But I would like to see something in the like 500 bucks category. So like really high. Yeah, high where you go like, I buy this one pistol and have it for the rest of my life. And there's spare parts available and I, can, I will have it forever. It's like a Rui standard or something, so I can exchange parts. So because you're basically saying, oh, I buy this pistol, it's no bridge, I have all the spare parts available, and I will have it. I mean, we could, we could make one, and I'm even thinking about it, but just a really high-end one, just 
all CNC. It's expensive, but it's gonna last and you're gonna have it forever. I mean, gas efficient. Uh, expensive. Uh, it's relative. Like people buy expensive, um, cheap. People buy cheap stuff, and they usually buy again. <laughs> buy like it happened. People buy cheap what? stuff. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Cut. But is it really true? I mean, when you think of a, let's say, a WE clock, it's cheap but it's good. I, I, don't, I like assume AK. Okay, come on, like it's cheap and it's good. Usually it applies, but there is some exceptions, and those are the gun, like a Chinji comic machine. The guns that are cheap and good, man, you see them everywhere. Yeah, that's the ones that I would want to see. I'm excited to hear what you have to say, especially about the alien pistol. I Which is my to, video. That's I my wanted part. to pick that as well. But if you want to check out Joseph's top picks, I'm gonna link it down below. We have it in the info card. And thanks for watching. Also, let us know in the comments what you would want to see. Because guess what? We can actually make these things. And a, a purpose of this video is also kind of like getting an idea what you guys want. Because I would, you know, ideally build all of this at some point. But if only I like it, there's no reason to make it really. Like, you guys need to like it. I need to like it, you need to like it, then we make it. Exactly. All right, thanks for watching. See ya.